Then I see him. <laughs> All right, so it is goat breeding pickup day. Bye bye day. We're we're telling yeah. the the goat stud goodbye today. We've learned a lot from this goat. Learned a lot about breeding. Mm -hmm. um, and we learned that Vanna is very dominant. Aggressive. She's aggressive and we've had some issues. She's actually hurt the male goat. According to the lady that owns the goat, that's normal. Not a good thing for that to happen, especially if you had somebody. I mean, it's someone else's goat. You don't want them hurt. So anyway, we're going to kind of tell you like some of the things that we learned with breeding goats. All right. So number one was time frame. So goats usually go in to the estrus cycle, which is when they are in heat, usually between August through December. And a lot of times they are in their estrus period like when I think it's day 18 to 24. One thing that we found out during that period is our goats, their personality starts kind of like changing a little bit. So Vanna just tries to escape all day long. She is super loud. You can hear her from the road as you pull up. Ever wondered what a goat in heat sounds like? <laughs> You're so loud. What do you want? How about don't hurt your buck next time? And she's actually mean. And she hurt the male goat. So sometimes you get that. I think with the babies, since this is their first year, they weren't as bad. They were just super loud. Like They were loud. They act a little different. But um, I think the biggest thing is we noticed that uh, their, their female parts were a little swollen and kind of had some discharge. Um, so other than that, like, there wasn't much difference. So, but you know, it just might be one of those hormonal, like, extra sensitive type coats that's just gets bossy because she's, you know, queen, queen of the herd over here. So, it was funny because the first day that we um, got Mr. Tiny, that's, that's the male goat's name, he came in the yard and was very interested in Vanna. Vanna was just like hopping around. She was kind of acting funny, but she wasn't really interested. Um, she was kind of just like flirting because it was at the end of her heat cycle. Yeah, so it was at the end. So she wasn't like ready for standing heat, which means that's that's when they are they need to be bred. Um, but I did notice that Faith was kind of like following behind the goat. I was like, I'm like peeking around the corner like to see him. peeking at it and tiptoeing behind him. And so we thought that was kind of funny. Um, and by the, before the, the lady left to drop the, the stud off, she had already been bred like two or three times. Yeah. Right? So we're hoping she's pregnant. Joy went in to heat a couple of days later, right? Maybe yeah. three or four days later. But one way that you can know for sure that they are actually pregnant is if 18 to 24 days after they were bred, um, sometimes they'll go back into to heat if they're not. Well, I mean, they do go back into heat if they're not yeah. pregnant. So um, if you notice that the male gets interested in them again and the doe is receptive, that probably means they weren't pregnant. So. Um, we haven't gotten to that point. I guess Faith. She should. seems pregnant. Well, like, Vanna went into heat Thanksgiving, and if Faith is like three or four days after, that would be now. Yeah. And the goat's definitely not interested, but our problem is the male goat is hurt. So he's definitely not like peeing on himself. He's not acting like a male goat would because his leg is hurt. Tiny. Poor thing. Vanna's so rough on you. Nice, come on here. Nope, you're jumping. Oh, this feels so weird to have a backwards glove on. Backwards glove on. Oh, what do you want? <laughs> I don't think it's up here. It's Ooh. down here. 
Yeah, it's definitely down there. It's it's down on the bottom? Yeah. Like where his, I don't know where that would be, but it's. Another thing we realized is we were trying to get mini matches, which are a cross between uh, La Mancha's and the Nigerian dwarfs. And they come out, uh, the no ear thing is a dominant trait, so they'll come out with no ears, but they're, like but they're a lot smaller. They're, they're like Nigerian dwarfs. Um, and they're really cute. So we thought we were gonna try that. But the problem is with this buck, I'm not really sure if he could like reach her correctly. And then because his back leg was hurt while this happened, it kept giving way underneath him. So I'm not really sure if Anna's bred or not. Usually what happens Tails is a female up. doe, female doe, yes, yeah. or a doe, which doe. is a female goat. A goat. A female. <laughs> well, we'll pee. Mr. Male goat over here will usually come over and start smelling. Mr. Tiny, Mr. Tiny. He's not. But anyway, he'd come over, start smelling, his tongue will start coming out, and he like is super interested. And then if they are not quite ready, what's gonna happen is um, they will just kind of run away. Or if you're Vanna, you'll <laughs> dance around the goat and headbutt him in every direction possible until she was finally interested, which happened to be on Thanksgiving, of course. Are you seriously? She was trying to get milk. I'm not surprised. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know why, but they still like to drink anytime they can get some. So one thing the goat uh, breeder said is that this is his hurt foot right here. She said sometimes in between the hoofs you can get, I think she called it foot scald, and it will look, she said, cheesy in there. And, um maybe pink kind of white with stuff coming out of it every time we went in there to try to clean that hoof he'd kind of jump back and when i tried touching his like i mean it would kind of be like a shin on a human kind of he he jumped back like yeah it hurt so we tried to look in there and we didn't see anything i guess we can look really quick yeah so anytime we touch it he definitely pulls back he doesn't like don't us bite me messing with him he, he attempted to bite me earlier. So we know that Vanna was definitely headbutting him on this side of his body. He's like, are you actually touching me? Well, we didn't touch him much because he was very stinky. Yeah, but since he's stopped peeing for a while, he doesn't have as much as a cologne for the ladies. Stinky cologne. <laughs> Vanna, that's not nice. Let it go, Vanna. I did actually read about that. Yeah. So, oh, so here, a couple of things. If you, you can see from the back, mm -hmm. see how it's kind of cheesy from the back? Cheesy. And if you touch it right here, it's really warm. Oh, where? Yeah, go ahead, right here. Much warmer than him. Oh, so that's, that's infected. Yep. And then if you give it a sniff, which I don't recommend, it will smell kind of like a... Oh, I smell it. Yeah, like a kind of a rotty, cheesy... It does smell like Oh, cheese. yeah. Yeah. It's just kind of... That's, I mean... <laughs> you see it in bucks a lot just because they are... It's rut right now, so they're peeing on themselves and... Everything else. I don't see any other... It's going to be like pretty rough and tough for them. Yeah, breeding season. Um, I swear, that's why, like I said, bucks don't live as long as does do. How'd you do this? You haven't even been here like a month. Here, yeah, small pine tree. Oh, wow. Let's check the rest of them while we're at it, because I, I, I don't understand. Okay. I do. He's like, see nothing. <laughs> Look at her, like she's... Yeah. <laughs> Man, if I knew I could do this, I'm like, like, well, I mean... I'm sitting here going... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Brooke, we're going to have to get a little more, I guess, tough. Hands on. <laughs> oh my He's mad. He is just pleased with his current situation. <laughs> For real. And this is how you make them right. stop. Um, I'm going to need that. Yeah, I see this one's got it too, buddy. I'm trying not to squish you. All of his... Yeah, all but one. Yeah, he's just... 
So when I get home, I will treat this with Thailand, which is a man. Mom, do you want to watch? Do you want to watch? <laughs> All right. So you know dogs and cats, you give it back here. Uh -huh. um, they don't have the loose skin here. Well, he does because he's kind of old and wrinkly. <laughs> but usually where, when I give shots, we go with the armpit pit pocket. You can see just this is all loose skin back here. Um, and regardless of the condition of the goat, because I mean, he's in rut. On him. He's decorating. <laughs> it's, it's his new outfit, but usually it's right here. And then if you always give it in the armpits, you know that it's never anything else. Casines or um, vitamins can leave a little cyst or a lump. And that can be a symptom of certain issues. And, you're, right. and you don't want lumps where you know yeah. they're not supposed to be. So armpit is like the safe zone. Gotcha. So if you're by yourself, I usually just kind of do like goatee head. headlock. <laughs> um, separate your fur because he's a woolly based. Pull forward like you would on a cat. And that's it. Straight oh, wow. back out. He may have had that done to him in his life before. Stinky. Here he is. Bye, Mr. Stinky. That was fun. We're sorry you had a bad feet. <laughs> Poor it was his essence. His essence got out of control. Did you see the curl? <laughs> Here comes the smolder. The smolder. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. <laughs>